Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rory Reed, and I just wanted to make a quick video today to discuss something that I feel is very important when it comes to painting and learning about uh, painting. And that is working small and doing quick studies to gauge a potential idea uh, that you can later translate to a, a bigger piece. Today I'm going to be working on a 9x12 Frederick's canvas panel and I'm going to be doing a cloud study that I thought about on a whim and I wanted to use this little panel to um, flesh out the idea and as I said test it out to see what it would look like and doing it small allows me to save on wasting any materials because as you know painting supplies do get pretty pricey so this is a great way to figure things out before you invest in a bigger uh, piece or a bigger canvas and a ton of materials. I started this piece by using a tealish blue color at the top and contrasted that with an orange uh, color on the bottom with sort of a red or pink uh, hue to it. For when using acrylic paints as I'm using here, it's always good to add uh, multiple layers on top of each other if you want, if you're going for like a smooth look. As you can see here, I begin to add a second layer in and this got rid of a lot of the white space that was uh, showing up through the uh, canvas and once I applied that second coat, it uh, smoothed everything out and the background looked a lot more presentable. Um, if this is what the, uh, the you know the type of style you're you're going for. Once I got the background where I wanted it, it was time to drop in the shape of the cloud. Uh, I was going for like a surrealism sort of style for this piece, and so the first step was to drop in the contour, or the shape of the cloud, as you can see here. I did use a random cloud reference that I had in my in my phone, so that's what I'm working from and. I began by using the darkest value I had and just worked out the shape and then once I had that completed I used some of the mid-tone colors that I had mixed up prior and started to uh, define the shape or the um, hills and valleys so to speak uh, a bit better as you can see here using some of the lighter tones as well to define where the highlights are going to be in the piece and um, just focus in on, on making the cloud look somewhat realistic and you know believable checking my reference often and um, you know just just going with the flow working working it out and as I said this is, a, is an excellent way working small is an excellent way to just try things out doesn't use didn't use a ton of paint didn't use any expensive materials. The Fredericks canvas panels are very affordable. I believe at my local um, art store it costs like a, a buck in change. So uh, this is a great, I have a ton of these that I use to try new things and you know see how different paints or different mediums work on canvas. And so I suggest you guys do this too if you're you know unsure about what you're doing or you don't have a set plan just get one of these and try it out it'll work great and as you can see I spent a bit more time here just defining the clouds the shadows the mids the highlight areas and once I got it to where I liked it and it was uh, pretty similar to my reference I began to work in some additional colors to sort of give it that surreal look that I set out to um, accomplish. I did end up using this exact color palette and this exact uh, style for a bigger piece that I'll be uploading to the channel uh, in the coming weeks. But um, as you can see here, I am dropping in a deep a cad red deep hue and. Um, for the highlights or the lighter areas of that red I'm using a mixture of the cad red light and orange and for the brightest highlights I'm using the cad red light orange and a touch of Naples yellow and a touch of uh, titanium white and this gave the uh, cloudy appearance of it being on fire which I thought was pretty 
neat. I loved how it looked and that is the reason why I used the um, this small piece to, to try to figure it out and try just try a different color combination, a different uh, take on a cloud to see um, you know what I would end up with. And I was pretty happy with how this turned out. Once I got it to where I wanted, I added some more of that uh, background color from the bottom to the top areas as I can see to bring a bit more uniformity to the piece and to make it blend and look a bit more natural. And um, that was just pretty much it. It was a quick piece. It took me about an hour to do and I got my idea figured out, got my colors figured out and used all this information to work on and put it into a bigger piece that I was also very happy with that I'll show as I said in the coming weeks and again just to re reiterate this is excellent way to flesh out your ideas I was never one to do quick studies a lot I, I usually just buy my canvas whatever I'm gonna work on and then just dive right in and you know whatever mistakes I made I just paint over them but I love as, as I become became more uh, adept at, at painting I began to appreciate the importance of doing quick studies it saves you a ton of time because when you're working on a big canvas if you do make a mistake it takes a long time generally to paint over that big mistake and a ton of materials as well so this this planning ahead is a great way to one learn how the paints react with each other prior to working with them and also making mistakes and figuring them out on a smaller scale so that when you do the big piece you'll already know what's happening know where you're going wrong and be able to fix it on the fly and so I hope you guys uh, like this video that's just what I wanted to discuss today I don't think I have a name for this piece I, I just called it the uh, cloud study number one and um, yeah if you, you like the video go ahead and um, hit the like button and subscribe also follow me on Instagram and Twitter the links will be in the description below and if you're interested in this piece or any of my other pieces go ahead and visit my website it's www.roryreadart.com link in the description as well and uh, hope to see you guys next time have a great day